coming up. Oh my God. Inside this box is a one of 10 part. Ay, Jesus, are you kidding me? One of 10. This looks terrible. Couldn't agree more with what people have been saying online. Maybe he's right. My name is Alex Ray and welcome to Casa Del Rey and of course, welcome to my YouTube channel. I got a box and by a box, I mean, I got a box. What's in a box? We are gonna find out what is inside that box, but let me give you a hint. Inside this box is a one of 10 part for the E9X platform. The E9X M3 gods would say is probably one of the rarest, if not the most rare part for this platform. And I'm lucky enough to have acquired it. We're gonna do the unboxing, and of course I'm gonna tell you all about it. So smash the, likes up, the like button, subscribe again, and let me know what you're most excited to see once this actually gets installed on the car and anything else you wanna talk about, okay? Let's get into the video. Oh my God. <laughs> what? what could this be? Sal, shout out to you, buddy. You packed this very, very nicely. Holy smokes. This is it. It's so light. I wonder what this could be. Could it be a titanium differential brace? No. Maybe. I mean, yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> wow. I've been dying for this. Wait till you hear the story about this part. Wow. Wow. This is the extra hardware. Here it is in all of its glory. This is a titanium differential brace. This is something that you add on to the car. From the factory, there is no differential brace. And I don't believe any other company is offering this either. So this company called Defiv or Defive they essentially created a product where, let me get you a direct quote from the marketing team way back then, what exactly it was all about. So let me actually get my laptop here. We're going on M3 post right now. So shout out to Matt at Auto Couture Motoring. The Defiv differential brace is a handmade structural support for the rear subframe to the differential. It drastically improves, I mean, drastically, we'll, we'll take that with a grain of salt, but it improves the mounting area from the differential to the subframe by adding, so again, these are not there, they add on two new mounting points with solid billet aluminum bushings and replacement poly bushings in the rear, making a total of five mounting points for the differential. The Defiv brace improves rigidity up to 50%, by decreasing the inflection of the differential. It creates a drastic reduction in the geometrical movement by dispersing the load from the three OEM rubber mounting points to the now five stiffer mounting points. The dispersion released into the five mounting points in addition to the structural support of the brace itself at each end of the frame locks in the differential for maximum performance. This is a great part to add on because it should benefit the car. How much? I mean, Matt from Auto Couture is claiming up to 50%. It doesn't matter for me. It's a cool part. It's gonna benefit to some degree. I'm gonna get it. So they had two versions, okay? One was chromoly and one was titanium. The chromoly one was retailing around 965 US, okay? And then shipping, taxes, it's a bit of money. They have a titanium one that is pretty much almost triple the price. It's super, super light. Like, look, I'm picking it up with like one finger, pinky finger even. Look at this, nothing, it weighs nothing. I like the fact that it's light and it's like a baller piece, okay? I wouldn't consider myself a baller, but I like to spend money on quality parts and I consider this to be pretty good quality, especially since it's a one of 10. I like that, the rarity. Researching the parts that I wanted to put on my car, all the best parts, this came up as a must have. I found out about it earlier on in my ownership of the M3. The problem was this is discontinued. How did I get it and why did it come on my radar? The story behind this, this is number two of 10. This part 
was discontinued because I guess the guy went out of business. It was a very, very small company. They stopped, it was done. You don't usually see these come up online on the forums and if they do, they pretty much sell instantly. I was trying to track down who exactly had this titanium one. I found an older gentleman named Ron and he has a, well he had rather, a really unique build. You might recall this one as the E93, so the convertible M3, with the Jintani twin turbo stroker kit that had some of the nicest parts and attention to detail. We're talking like Alcon brakes with the blue, um, blue stitching on the interior. So this brace was on that car. I tried messaging Ron. The world works in weird, mysterious ways for me. It's almost like it was meant to be. Ron was trying to sell his car as a whole unit. He wasn't looking to part anything out. He was looking to sell this brace with the car. And obviously I'm in Toronto. I'm not buying a car from the States. It's not gonna work. But I remember messaging him early summer of 2020. And I was like, Ron, my name is Alex. I'm doing some really cool stuff with my BMW. I would love to have the opportunity to buy this part. I said, I don't care how much I need to spend. You just give me a number and it's done. I'm happy to pay whatever, just to be one of the lucky 10 people to get this. He didn't want to do it. He's like, Alex, I appreciate your time but this is going with the car. I'm not looking to part ways with this. Me being in sales, of course, I'm a bit more persistent. I don't like to just give up like that. So I said, of course, no problem. Let me know if that ever changes your mind, if you ever change your mind. And I'm actually gonna follow up with you in a couple months just to see if things change. He says, no problem, okay? He didn't have to say that. So I, Ron, shout out to you. Thank you uh, for allowing me to keep bugging you. but. Yeah, every couple of months, we're talking like August then. He says, no, still the same. September comes, no, and so on. We get to around December, and I think it was December of 2020. He reached out to me and said, Alex, if you can sell the car as a finder's fee, if you will, I'll give you the brace. Okay, so obviously I'm gonna try my best. I was trying to help post on the forums, this and that. No luck, unfortunately. So of course all these months go by and I'm still not able to find Ron, the buyer of his car. Fast forward to March, 2021, I see someone post something on Instagram and I, I follow this guy, I've never talked to him before, but his name is Sal. He is recognized throughout the E9X community as being the world record holder for having the fastest naturally aspirated E9X M3. So kudos to you, Sal. So I saw him post something and it was like, I bought this Jintani twin turbo car for my parents. I'm like, oh my God, like that's awesome. But crap, now I gotta go ask this guy for for the brace. I said, hey, I'm a friend of Mitch. There's a part that I wanna buy on your car. Sal was like, Alex, I already know the part that you're talking about. I'm already debating if I wanna put this on my car, on my personal car. Uh, I said, okay, well, like, I'm willing to offer whatever amount. Uh, we kinda went a little bit back and forth, but pretty much ended up settling for 2,300 US, somewhere around there. And again, Sal, thank you. Thank you again for giving me the opportunity to own this prize prize part now that i have this brace it's funny because a friend of mine a very good friend of mine ricardo ricardo he has this 500 wheel horsepower crazy crazy subaru sti i actually drove it once i'm going to insert the video right now so enjoy this that sound is infectious whoa come on <laughs> <laughs> holy shit. <laughs> Holy sh look at my eyes! Look at my f eyes! Oh. What a wild car. <laughs> when Ricardo sees this part on my Instagram, I posted a teaser of it. He obviously has something to say. I mean, these Portuguese guys, they're a bunch of yappers. I mean, I'm, I'm a yapper too. I'm Portuguese. So I know exactly where he's coming from. So <laughs> here's what he said. And to drive the point home even further, 
for your entertainment. He even sent me a video telling me how much he disliked the quality of the part. Watch this. Hi, Jesus. Are you kidding me? One of ten. You mean someone had the audacity to make ten of these things? Ten of them? What is scrap metal? Do you have it laying in the backyard? You put some glue together? What's, what's going on there? This looks terrible. Couldn't agree more with what people have been saying online. It's just hideous. You can tape my eyes shut. Never welded once in my life and I'll do better than that. Terrible. Wouldn't even put that in the scrap bin. But one thing I do know is Alex will get it fixed. He will make it look like a nice rare one of 10. Hopefully good piece. Let's, let's see. Hopefully it holds up. It kind of, it kind of got me thinking, you know what? Maybe he's right. How can we restore it? And as you know, the whole purpose of the project is to restore the car to a museum level quality. I keep saying that, but it's true. We're going to make this car literally immaculate. I am going to get my very, very good friend, another fellow Portuguese guy. I mean, it, it must be a sign, but, um, my good friend, Matt Morgado, those who are in the Toronto area know that he is the top titanium welder. It's going to have a polished look. It's going to have the heat treatment. So it'll have some nice burns as much as I want to keep it and install it as is. I want to improve this. And as a matter of fact, this is a surprise for Matt. This little signature plate that you see here, it says two of 10. There is also room right over here for another plate. So I want Matt to add a GT Customs built for Sky one of one in addition to this Defiv brace two of 10. And I think it would just be a, a super nice subtle touch. No one will ever see it, but I want to pay respect to the OG, the man, Mr. Matt Morgado from GT Customs. So uh, thank you guys for watching the video. I, I hope you enjoyed the story behind it. Thankfully, I have the right people in my life to make things happen. People give me opportunities just by asking and being a good person and that good karma anyone can do. So thank you again for watching and make sure to stay tuned for the next one. And again, like the video if you haven't already, subscribe and tell a friend. I really do appreciate it. See you next time.